Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our program brought to you by Safety Systems, Commercial and Residential Fire and Life Security Systems. Folks, they do tremendous work. Uh, they've done uh, audio video work in my home. Uh, it's pretty doggone good. They are fantastic. VFL JJ Serlis, who didn't have to deal with the mean tweets, but he can take your phone calls. Uh, he works there. Give him a shout and he can help you figure out what the best thing to do for your home is in terms of life and security needs or entertainment audio video systems. All right, very quickly, we're gonna have like 20 seconds on each of these questions. I apologize, but we want to get to the vote okay. in the last segment. Chuck, I did want to mention some of these things though. Josh Dobbs had one of the best days. That might have been at 91% completion. That might have been the <laughs> best game in the, in, the, in the nation for a quarterback this year. The other guy, it would be percentage points. It's either number one or number two. 31 of 34, 340 yards passing, two touchdowns. He did fumble, right. big fumble. How much blame, if any, does Dobbs get last night? <laughs> He's pretty far down the list, but he gets some because I thought that turnover was one of the key turning points of the game. Uh, but we've talked about it. What is the margin of error for this offense? Zero. As bad as this defense is, how can you start by blaming the offense? I agree. Yeah, uh, he'd be very small on the list. I, and I had people last night upset with him. Well, he's 31 of 34 for 340 yards. It's the best a quarterback has performed this year in America. So, all right. Uh, Jimmy, Derek Barnett tied Reggie White's sack record at Tennessee with 31. Where do you rank him with all defensive greats? I would have to rank him really high because anytime you're in the same company as Reggie White, that's impressive. And also the fact that in tackles for loss, I think he's second school history. But I am concerned about him come, becoming one-dimensional. I think he is after sacks, and I don't think he is playing run defense like he should. I think he's taking himself out of some plays. Mm -hmm. But again, if you're in that company with Reggie White, I have to put you up there very high. And Will, just a yay nay, he, he lost some money last night. He did. Tight end for Vanderbilt really worked him over on the run game. All right. Uh, it's possible, Will, Butch Jones could leave on his own. He could probably find a smaller job with less scrutiny, make less money, but have Better quality of life. Yep. Let's say Houston. I don't think that's going to happen, but let's say Houston. Um, would you judge him if he said, I don't want this SEC scrutiny, I'm going to a smaller place, and I want to enjoy my life? No. I mean, I, I don't think you can judge anybody that makes that decision. If you say, listen, this is just too much stress on me and my family. I want to have a better life. I want to live longer and not have a heart attack. You know, great. I mean, it's not like he's going to go to one of these schools and not get paid seven figures. I mean, right. I, th I think I could live on that, you know. So I think overall, if that may, that's his decision and he wants to do that, that's going to be the best for everybody. If he really thinks he's going that direction, he needs to make that decision and go ahead and do it because he's not going to be happy being here at any point in time. Because the scrutiny is not going to get less. It's going to nope. get worse. Mm -hmm. Right. Fair or not, it's going to get worse. All right, Bob, very quickly. Mike DeBoard has taken a lot of grief this year, uh, but last year his offense was the best rushing offense at Tennessee since 1950. After this year, his offense tied the 1993 team with 58 touchdowns. Stats lie, okay, occasionally. I don't think so, but people say they do. <laughs> do the stats lie here, or has he been taking way too much grief? No, I think that the, the board has taken too much grief. I think that if you look at it, Tennessee's offense has underperformed to me twice this season, Appalachian State and South Carolina. Um, uh, Alabama, throw that one out because, I mean, Alabama's defense. So you underperformed twice. You should have been good enough to win the SEC East with your offense. I think it comes back to your defense. I don't like some things that the board does, but yes. – who likes everything a coach does. So, no, I, I think he has taken too much grief. Right. You can, make, you can make honest critiques of how he used players and when he used players. Or this series was ran wrong or yeah. something here. Yeah, but you're going to do that with any offensive yeah. coordinator. The bottom line is you're putting up rushing yards, you're putting up touchdowns. He's doing his part. With a makeshift offensive line. With a makeshift offensive line. All right. Uh, when we come back, we play athletic director. I'm giving everybody three options. What do we do with Butch Jones? Come on back on the sports source. <laughs> 